Afternoon guys, uh, just another little follow on we, uh, we touched on the air pressure switch the other day and the functionality. Uh, a couple of you mentioned about testing for resistance with uh, low resistance rather than using a continuity bu bu uh, buzzer, you're bang on right. Uh, that was just for demonstration purposes. But let's, um, on a later video we're going to talk about combustion and the movement of gas and air around an atmospheric appliance. Uh, basically when the, the chamber gets hot with the resistances on the air pressure switches and when the chamber's cold. We'll address that on a, on a different video. I'm staying with older technology for the minute and then we'll move on to premix at a later date. Um, one thing we want to just look at now guys which is important is, is the, the fan coil. Okay. We spoke about the ohms resistances across the, the air pressure switch the other day and we've done ohms resistances on, on uh, earlier videos. But let's just look at the, the fans. I've got a couple down here on the desk. And the thing is with a fan, if the ohms resistance is breaking down, either increasing or decreasing, then yes, at some point in the not too distant future that, that, that fan is going to burn out. And basically then you'll get an OL situation on your, your multimeter. And to be honest, as soon as you walk in Mrs. Smith's kitchen, you can smell the fan because it's, you get a, an acrid smell from, from the motor. And you can see localised burning at either sides of the, the fan coil. But what is very important, guys, there is a period of time where when that fan coil, with it being variable speed, is breaking down, it can create all sorts of, of, of crazy things. So basically you can have a fan that's running too slow or you can have a fan that's running too fast. Now, when I was out on the road like you guys, what, what I had, I had a, a, a black book and everybody that I went to, I took the ohms resistance of the fan and wrote it down in the book because you usually find when a manufacturer picks an ohms resistance on a particular range of boilers, they will stick to that on that fan and, and they won't deviate from that. And a Raven heat fan of this type is 45 ohms. So if I just, I've got my multimeter on the correct range there, and if I just take, take a reading here on this fan, we'll see that we've around 45. So we're 45.5, so we'll, we'll not split it as there's 45 ohms. Now if I take a reading on this fan, then again, you'll see that the fan 45 ohms, exactly the same. But there is a massive difference, guys, between these two fans. If I spin this fan impeller, which is the impeller at the bottom, if I spin this cooling fan impeller here, you'll see that that is as free as a bird. It's, it's still spinning, it's as free as a top. Now, if I can move on to this fan, and I spin this fan impeller, can you see there, guys, it grinds to a slow halt. Now, as you've witnessed, it's not the coil that's creating that, that fan impeller to be stiff. Basically, it's, it's the, the ohms resistance is the same at 45. It's here. At this point here in the casement of the fan, at the top and underneath in the casement, we have a bearing. Now, basically, what's happened there, there's been some debris got underneath that bearing, and that bearing has swollen. Now, if we've got a brass boiler union and we warm it up with this blow lamp, obviously the brass expands. Everything has plus and a minus. The, 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 we, we, we can then open the brass boiler union, a two inch brass boiler union with us, with us Rothenbergers, with us, with us pump pliers. But the problem is that the disadvantage with brass is it's very soft. Now, the bearing here is very, very hard. Now, the plus and minus is we can run a shaft through that bearing for a lifetime. And there's no real calculable wear, which is a fantastic material. The only problem is with the material, when we get debris at the back of it, it swells. And when it swells, it doesn't go back to its original size. So you've, you've probably done, in, in, throughout, throughout your time out on the road, you've greased fans with your graphite paste, your duck or your ghost grease, and you've greased that fan bearing. And with a few days, once that, once that lubricant has dissipated, you're back to still having a swollen fan. So it's worth being a little bit tentative when you do that. Make sure that it, it's not a swollen bearing, okay? So, check for 45 ohms. Uh, as we say, manufacturers' fans do differ. As I spin this fan impeller and it grinds to a slow halt, with 230 volts to that fan, and if that chamber is cool, that air pressure switch will energise. That air pressure switch will drop out and it will go to flame failure when it gets hot in that chamber because the pressure drops. 
okay so that could create nuisance flame failure on this particular older type atmospheric appliance so the model of the story of this video guys is always make sure that you check the ohms resistance of the fan because if it's running too slow you could find that that, that fan impeller is not stiff but the fan is running too slow it's breaking down like we said it's variable speed it will break down eventually but if it's breaking down and it's running too slow it can create a flame failure situation also it can go the other way i mean we looked at the thermistor sheets the other day and as the thermistor gets hotter the the resistance drops well it's same here the faster the fan runs okay the resistance drops so you can find that many times you can attend a boiler and it's louder than the last boiler that you attended it's louder because the fan is running too fast okay now i've seen it on many occasions where let's say it's a vertical flue you'll spend half the morning up in the loft thinking you've got a problem with the vertical flue because you've got slight vitiation on a burner you, you drag in the burner your vitiation your flame lift and surprise surprise your analyzer probably will use it reading okay but it'd be worth checking to make sure that the ohm resistance on the fan is correct because if it is breaking down that fan could be running too fast so what it can do guys it can it can drag the burner and it's simulating that you've got vitiation and a, and a problem with the flue or the heat exchanger blocked well you know it's th these are things that are worth checking guys they will save you a lot of time so we're going to move on to combustion now